So my goal today is to give all the people who want, and this is about 15% of you, you'd think that anyone wants to get healed, but they don't. Anyone doesn't. 85% of the gross population in this culture, Judeo-Christian background, are known to have a death wish. And if they have a death wish, there's nothing you can do to convince their conscious mind, because the death wish is unconscious, to make the person get better unless he chooses to, he or she. So what you do here, and you'll notice on page 7 of the book, which gives away all the secrets, we have liberally borrowed from Gray's Anatomy, and we have drawings here of the paths of the blood. And the objective is to get as much electricity into the blood as possible and waste as little of the electricity as possible in the surrounding tissue or flesh. So this is very, very simple to do. And uh, after experimenting <coughs> with numerous types of electrodes, we wound up with little electrodes which are pieces of stainless steel rod exactly one and a quarter inches long and three thirty seconds of an inch in diameter. We wrap these two stainless steel electrodes with two and a half turns of cotton. It has to be pure cotton. It can't be silk, it can't be nylon, it can't be polyester. But cotton, which is hygroscopic, H-Y-G-R-O-S-C-O-P-I-C. Um, you dip these in salt water, and on the ulnar, that's on the opposite side of the inside of the same wrist. And why can you feel the pulse there? Because the arteries, not veins, the arteries, avoid the bones in the wrist by coming close to the surface. And if the blood is going through these arteries close to the surface, it's a very, very simple thing to get electricity into them. And you don't have to use a hypodermic needle. You don't have to use surgery, which we'll show you in the patents later. You do this in what medic medicine calls in vivo. That means the apparatus is outside of the body. The blood stays in the body where it belongs. So let's put these electrodes, which were sewn to this piece of stretch uh, neoprene, and take a little box, which Russ Toulage Soda Instruments, S-O-T-A, in Canada makes. And this little box has a 9-volt battery inside, has an attenuator volume control on the outside, the 9 volts is multiplied in a voltage multiplier to 27 volts, which is what it takes to get the electricity into the blood, not the skin. And you see here two little lights flashing, a red and a green, which indicate that the battery is working. The voltage is reversing polarity, so it will not damage the blood by electronic uh, electrophoresis, electroplating. And we put this on our arm. Very simple, with a piece of stretch fabric and Velcro. You then position the two salt water wet electrodes over the radial and the ulnar arteries where you feel your pulse. And you plug it into the box. Turn it on. Adjust the amplitude, the intensity, to the point where it's comfortable. And then if you're shy, you might choose to pull your sleeve down. And nobody knows that you're wearing the most powerful medical tool invented in this century. And what this is doing is putting this mild current, 50 to 100 microamperes, into your circulating blood. And therefore, eliminating all. I hate this word because I used to be a physicist. All electro uh, parasites, viruses, fungi, germs, pathogens, 
And it's doing this by putting this small electrical potential into the arteries, in this case on the arm. As you can clearly see in these pictures from Gray's Anatomy. Now, what have we done? We've managed to electrify uh, approximately 40 to 60 cc of blood flowing in this arm. Now, you remember from high school that the average adult has about eight pints of blood in his 150 pound body. That these eight pints of blood circulate through the entire body once about every nine or ten seconds. In other words, every drop of blood in your body, the drop that's in my earlobe, etc., will flow past these electrodes, become electrified, and anything in these uh, blood volumes is totally eliminated. Now, it's interesting that Kali and his colleagues made this discovery in 1990 and on February 23, 1993, a U.S. patent, number 5188738, was issued to these medical doctors, particularly Dr. Kali, by the U.S. Government Patent Office. Now, I think I'd better read something to you here, which you might find extremely interesting, and then we'll zoom in to look at a couple of pictures in the patent. Don't forget, we're looking at a U.S. government document which is legal material in any court in the world. So let's read a couple of things in this patent, <coughs> which is entitled, Alternating Current Supplied Electrically by Electrically Conductive Method and System for Treatment of Blood and Other Body Fluids and or Synthetic Fluids with Electric Forces. They say here, we're reading in column one, line uh, 30, because of this problem, the present invention has been devised to attenuate any bacteria, virus, including AIDS, HIV, right there in the patent, parasites and or fungus contained in blood, either contributed by a donor to the point where such contaminant is rendered ineffective for infecting a normally healthy human cell, but does not make the blood biologically unfit for use in humans. They go on in column two, line nine, contaminants, <coughs> bacteria, virus, fungus, and or parasites contained in the blood or other bodily fluids are rendered ineffective to infect and or affect normally healthy human cells. Now, if this information has been around in the professional press, the patent office, the journals, which you've never read about, why hasn't your doctor told you about this? Well, if you have cancer, and this cures cancer, and we have the clinical proof right here, cancer is not an infectious disease exactly, but when you unload your immune system, the cancer gets well. We have this happening in dozens and dozens of cases. If you have cancer and go to the conventional allopathic treatment of surgery, and radiation and chemotherapy, you'll be told by the Department of Commerce, the government agencies, that the main median cost, the average cost of the cancer is $375,000. That includes the surgery, the chemotherapy, the anesthetologist, the uh, hospital, the radiation, but wait a minute, 